Today, I am showing you how to birdie all special holes in Nintendo Switch Sports Golf. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, getting a birdie on the special holes every time you play them is very, very difficult because they are very wind dependent. If you have strong wind, max wind, it can be extremely difficult, almost impossible to birdie some of these holes depending on where the hole is placed on the green and the wind. But I am going to show you how to birdie them when you have either no wind or favorable wind. Now starting off in hole 19, yes, you can drive over to the land on the left here, the fairway here. But I found it easier to get consistent birdies when you use a three iron and land yourself on the fairway on the right. Now with no wind, you want about three dots, maybe like a smidge over three dots will work as well. But because I have nine mile an hour tailwind, I will just go three dots with the three iron. Now pay attention to where I was aimed and where I'm landing because it's important to be here so you can actually shoot through the trees. Now as you can see there is a break between the tree on the right and the trees up ahead on the left. So if you're in a situation where you have to use a spoon on stroke 2, which you will find yourself in depending on the wind and the hole placement, as you can see you can go right through onto the green. And you're going to have to judge your power based on your wind and the hole placement, but obviously you're going to need a little bit more than three dots with the spoon to make it onto the green. And if the hole is on the left, behind these trees right here, you might have to curve your spoon shot kind of like this. But in my case, I can use a three iron and I'm 200 yards away, so I'm not expecting to be like a few feet away from the hole, but this is a tough green, so just do your best to land as close to the hole as possible. Now for me, I'm gonna go a little bit under full power with three iron, hopefully roll onto the green and up to the hole. And for a special hole, that's a pretty decent approach. I am 13 feet away. Normally, if you're chipping onto the green, you, you do want to be closer. But I'm not going to complain when I'm 13 feet away putting for birdie on a special hole. Now, my suggestion to you is to practice these holes offline. That three iron stroke that I just did was doable because of the wind, but there are many times where I have to use the spoon to get onto the green, like I mentioned to you earlier, and you are going to want to practice those quite a lot if you want to be able to birdie this hole consistently. And that's how you birdie special hole 19. Moving on to hole 20 where the idea of how to get a birdie is actually very, very simple. It's just the execution can be difficult. And this hole in particular, very dependent on the wind. If you have a strong headwind, it's very hard to make it past the cliff to give yourself a clear shot onto the green. Also, if you have wind pushing you to the right, like I do right now, but a little bit stronger, it will push you into the cliff. So very wind dependent, but if you have wind that allows for the birdie, it's actually very simple. Nice shot. You just need a normal drive off of the tee. followed by a pretty simple chip onto the green, followed by a putt for a birdie. Now it is easier said than done, but now that you know the plan on how to get the birdie, if you go and practice this hole offline, practice the execution, you're gonna get birdies a lot more consistently. Now from here, I'm gonna use a five iron. Most of the time, five iron's enough. If you have a headwind from this stroke, you might have to club up. And this hole placement's a little bit difficult because of the topography on the green. So I did adjust slightly to the left, Hopefully that helps my ball roll closer to the hole, but we'll find out once I chip. Nice shot. And you know what? I adjusted pretty well because I only landed nine feet away from the hole to the right. Although I will say this is not the easiest putt in the world, but to be less than 10 feet away from a birdie putt on a special hole, that's always a good place to be. And for the chip onto the green, which I just did with the five iron, remember that you have to get enough power to clear the trees because if you fly too low, you'll clip the trees, land in the bunker or land before the green, but don't give it so much power that you fly past the green. So this is where practice comes into play. You're gonna have to go offline 
practice these holes like I've said a few times this video, but at least now you can see that hole 20 is a pretty simple birdie, albeit very dependent on the wind. Alright, let's run this back. To be honest, I considered just deleting like everything I just recorded for this hole, hole 20. Just starting fresh, doing new commentary live, and you guys would have no idea. You would think it's first try. But I'm gonna keep that in there just as, I don't know, like a lesson, I guess. Just to reiterate how you really have to practice these holes. The greens on the special holes are like notoriously hard. If you never practice putting on them, you'll never get any better. Now that was somewhat of a difficult putt. It was also nine feet away and very makeable. I just underpowered that putt, or micro putted as they say, which actually happens to me quite a lot. Very frustrating. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna chip back onto the green. I just restarted this hole. Try to get a good setup once again and secure the birdie. And there we go, that was a pretty good chip onto the green once again. A little bit closer this time, only 8.4 feet. And what looks like a little bit of an easier putt. This is my last try before I just nuke the entire video, including hole 19. Alright, so same spot as last time. Last time I overhit. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you birdie hole number 20 on your third try. Moving on to hole 21, this is the last hole of the special course and the last hole in the entire series. I have done a how to birdie every hole up until hole 21, so if you wanna check those out, I did three holes per video just like this one, started on Resort A all the way to Classic C and now Special, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think hole 21 is the easiest special hole to birdie, and the reason is because it's so easy to get onto the green in two strokes. Now, yes, the green is disgusting. It is hard to putt, but you can put yourself in a position to putt for a birdie almost every time. Even if the wind carries you too far or you mess up stroke one and you land in the rough, you can still chip onto the green. Even if you land in this bunker here, you can still chip onto the green. So that's why stroke one isn't all that important. Like obviously try to avoid the bunkers, try to get onto the fairway. But even if you don't do it, that's completely fine. I will say though, when you do have a tailwind, it is very easy to land in the bunker right in front of my ball right now. And obviously if you can avoid that, do so. You might have to club down to a spoon. But now comes the hard part, chipping onto the green. Anywhere you land on the green, your ball's probably gonna roll down towards the fringe rough area right here. So it's very hard to predict where you're gonna land. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send it a little bit under three and a half dots with the seven iron. I'm wanting the wind to carry me onto the top of the green and then the green to roll my ball down towards the hole. And your strategy is gonna depend on the placement of the hole on the green. But in this specific case, I think this is my best option. So you know what, that was a decent shot. I really would have benefited from the backspin there. So it wasn't the best approach, but we are 18 feet away from the hole, putting for birdie on a special hole. So I'm not gonna say that it was the worst chip in the world, but my advice to you is to just take your time on stroke two when you're chipping onto the green. 
Really try to predict where the wind's going to carry your ball, where you're going to get that first bounce on the green, and where the green is going to push you. Try to predict if you need backspin or not, which I didn't do very well on this chip. But just take your time, try to get on the green by any means necessary, and just give yourself that chance to putt for a birdie. And there you have it folks, that is how you birdie special hole 21. Finish. Now these holes do show up sometimes in the final holes of online games, so hopefully you can utilize this information that you learned in the video in your next online match to win more games, rank up faster. If you enjoyed the video or the series, hit the like button. I'm considering doing a how to eagle every hole. However, those videos would get pretty repetitive because almost every hole is just you need a chip and eagle. But in any case, let me know what your thoughts on the series are down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.